Frankie Avalon has amassed a net worth of approximately $30 million over the course of his decades-long career. The young boy who began as a trumpet prodigy, then became a successful recording artist before he earned teen idol status from his roles in movies and TV. He still has legions of fans who remember him from these glory days. Keep watching to learn what happened to Frankie Avalon, former teen idol. Frankie's Early Life and Career Francis Thomas Avalone was born September 18, 1940, in Philadelphia to Italian parents Mary and Nicholas Avalone. His father taught him to play the trumpet, and he considered himself lucky he was able to learn quickly. His talent with that instrument was the beginning of his long and successful career. Frankie began playing the trumpet at local clubs and theaters and eventually won a local TV talent contest. He joined a band called Rocco and the Saints in 1951, and a talent scout saw him play at a private party for singer Al Martino. He made his TV debut at the age of 11 in December of 1952 on The Jackie Gleason Show, when he played the trumpet during the Honeymooners Christmas Party sketch. He continued to play with his band while he was a teen, but eventually entered into the recording business. By 1954, he had two singles, featuring him playing the trumpet on RCA Victor's X sublabel, as well as an LP. Philadelphia's Chancellor Records eventually signed him to a contract and recorded his singles Cupid and Teacher's Pet. He disliked his next record, D. Dinah, but an appearance on American Bandstand in 1952 made it popular and led to it selling over a million copies. His later record, Venus, was his most successful and sold over a million copies as well. 31 of Frankie's singles, released from 1958 to 62, appeared on the U.S. Billboard charts. Just Ask Your Heart reached number 7, I'll Wait For You reached 15, Bobby Socks to Stockings reached number 8, A Boy Without a Girl reached number 10. His most popular songs were both released in 1959, including Venus, which spent five weeks at number 1, and Why, which also reached number 1. He was less popular in the UK, but charted there with his songs Why, Gingerbread, Venus, and Don't Throw Away All Those Teardrops. This was one of his most successful periods in the music business, but he soon found another outlet once his songs stopped charting so high. Frankie became a major film and TV star after his music career slowed down in the 60s. He earned roles in over 30 films, at least 10 of which were with the production company AIP, or American International Pictures. His first one was a small part in Jamboree in 1957, where he played the trumpet and sang Teacher's Pet. Alan Ladd's daughter was a fan and recommended him for a supporting role in Rio Bravo in 1959. In 1960, he appeared with Alan and Guns of the Timberland, where he sang The Faithful Kind and G Wiz Willikin's Golly G, and both songs were released as singles. John Wayne saw the film and gave him a part in the Alamo in 1960, calling him the finest young talent he'd seen in a long time. His first starring role was in Drums of Africa in 1963. That was followed up by one of his most memorable films, Beach Party. The musical comedy became so popular it spawned sequels, including Muscle Beach Party and Bikini Beach and Pajama Party. By January of 1966, he said he no longer wanted to make beach films and was getting a little sick of sand. That lasted until his appearance in Back to the Beach. It was released in 1987 as a tongue-in-cheek parody and homage to his former beach movies. Frankie's TV appearances included turns on The Bing Crosby Show, The Patty Duke Show, an episode of Combat, as well as serving as the official spokesperson for Sonic Drive-In. Frankie even tried his hand at voice acting with the English version of the Japanese musical anime Alakazam the Great in 1960. His career slowed down slightly in the 70s and 80s, but he continued to perform whenever he was able. He attempted to reinvent himself in 1976 when he released a new disco version of his hit song Venus. The film Idolmaker was released in 1980 and served as a fictionalized biography of sorts detailing his life and that of 1950s star Fabian Forte and songwriter and producer Bob Marucci. Fabian threatened to sue them but dropped it after the filmmakers insisted it was fictional. Frankie appeared in Blood Song in 1982. He's also made plenty of cameos over the years, often appearing as himself, such as in an episode of Happy Days where he sang his own songs and an episode of Troop Beverly Hills. He also managed to find true love during his long and busy career. He married Catherine K. Diebel on January 19, 1963. He met the beauty pageant winner while playing cards at a mutual friend's house. He insisted he would marry her, despite a warning from his agent that it would ruin his teen idol image. They've been married for over 50 years, an achievement he chalks up to their love and respect for one another. They also have 10 grandchildren and 8 children, Frankie Jr., Tony, Dina, Laura, Joseph, Nicholas, Catherine, and Carla. Continuing to Sing 
Anyone who doesn't recognize Frankie's talent needs only to look at all the accolades he's earned over his lifetime. He was dubbed King of Songs in 1957. He also earned the Photography Magazine Gold Award in the Popular Vocalist category and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. Luckily for the world, he hasn't chosen to keep his stellar voice from us in his later years. He performed in several nightclubs in Las Vegas. He also began a 50-city tour with Fabiano Forte and Bobby Rydell in 1985. They collectively called themselves the Golden Boys of Bandstand. He also appeared on American Idol in 2009 singing his hit song Venus. It was only one of many times he would surprise his fans with a pitch-perfect performance. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And keep watching to learn how Frankie Avalon is spending his life today. The Teen Angel Flies Again Frankie first appeared as the Teen Angel singing Beauty School Dropout in Greece. It brought his name back into the public consciousness and introduced him to younger viewers. They finally got to see what all the hype about the teen idol their parents and grandparents adored was about. Despite the success of his other records, he considers Beauty School Dropout to be his most popular song because of the success of the musical's soundtrack and the enduring love of its rabid fanbase. Perhaps this is why he keeps the teen angel alive. He still plays the role in stage productions of Grease and performed Beauty School Dropout in the finale of the NBC reality show Grease, You're the One That I Want. On October 18th, 2021, Frankie surprised contestants Amanda Klutz and Alan Bernstein during Grease Night on Dancing with the Stars. The judges were thrilled to see him. He may have even contributed to the fact Amanda and Alan received a combined score of 39 out of 40, the highest of the season. Frankie Avalon Products Frankie's interests extend beyond entertainment. He always says he'd prefer to be referred to as a singer, dancer, and actor, and never wanted to be just one thing. His latest interest is marketing, and he's working to create and market products to make the world a better place. He promoted Frankie Avalon Products, a line of health solutions and cosmetics on the Home Shopping Network. This line included an arthritis product called Frankie Avalon's Zero Pain Roll-On Arthritis Pain Reliever. Frankie Avalon the Chef most men and women who grew up in an Italian-American family learn how to cook and have several memories centered around the table from a young age. Frankie is no exception. He released a cookbook titled Frankie Avalon's Italian Family Cookbook from Mine to Yours in 2015. It has over 80 family recipes that he and older sister Teresa collected from their mother. He even launched his own food company called Frankie Avalon Foods. It's focused on delivering classic Italian meals with high-quality ingredients. Frankie's enduring legacy is undeniable. Fans cheer when he returns as the teen angel or sings his other older hits. He's also been mentioned in several modern songs such as System of a Down's Old School Hollywood and It Takes Two from the musical Hairspray. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you know former teen idol Frankie Avalon from his music or his movie and TV appearances? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.